Oops. Now we're going to talk about streaming services. There are so many different kinds of streaming services. Even since the last time I did this presentation, uh, a few new really popular ones have come out. So we're going to talk a little bit about, about each one. There are many, many choices for streaming content, and it seems more and more are being added all the time. Think about what types of programming you and your household watch. Do you like a broad offering of many types of movies and TV shows? Or are you looking for something more specialized? The pricing of streaming services ranges from free, which are usually ad supported, meaning that you'll watch commercial, there'll be commercials interspersed through the program, to 60 plus dollars a month for the ones that offer the option to view shows as they air. Now, Netflix is um, probably the most popular streaming service. They offer a large selection of movies, TV series, and other programming, such as documentaries and comedy essentials, uh, specials from both major and independent studios. And they have many, many Netflix originals, which are um, TV shows and movies created by Netflix. Now with Netflix, there are three plans. The basic, which is $8.99 a month. You can watch on one screen at a time only in standard definition video quality. When I say one screen at a time, that means just on one particular device. So if you have two TVs in your household and you want to watch something in the living room and your spouse wants to watch something in the, the den or upstairs, um, you would need to have a plan that offers more, uh, at least two devices. So it's how many people can watch at one time. If you only have the one screen plan and you're watching something and someone else tries to watch something, they'll get a message saying, oh, you can't watch something now because you only have the one device plan. Would you like to upgrade? So they give you the option right there. I've seen that come up. The next plan up is the standard plan, which is $12.99 a month. And you can watch on two screens at a time and they do have HD quality available. The highest plan is the premium, which is $15.99 a month, and you can watch on four screens at a time, and they do offer HD and Ultra HD quality if you're interested in video quality. Another very popular service is Hulu. They offer similarly uh, movies, TV, and other programming. Um, Hulu also has original shows now and, uh, and movies. A big difference from Netflix uh, that I really like is that Hulu has TV episodes available to watch the day after they air, as opposed to Netflix, which doesn't add new episodes of a currently airing TV series until after the season has aired. So what that means is with their content, with Netflix content, they often do put a whole season up at once. But if it's a show that's currently on the air, like for instance, uh, Saturday Night Live, um, it's not good. Hulu, you can watch Saturday Night Live on Sunday morning. And they have the this, this shows as they air, like the next day. So if you wanted to watch, oh, um, American Idol, or, there's a lot of current shows on there. And you, you, wanna, you could just, it's not the basic plan. Um, you can watch it the, the very next day. Whereas with Netflix, you have to wait until the whole season is over. And then it's whenever they decide to put it up there. So that if you're into, watching a lot of things that are currently on broadcast TV. Um, Hulu is a, a big plus over that. Uh, they have two plans, not including the live TV option, which we'll talk about um, in a little bit. The ad supported plan, which is $5.99 a month with commercials shown before and during programming. And the no ad plan, which is $11.99 a month. Keep in mind that there is a very small list of shows that even with the no ad plan will show a commercial before the show. The, currently the only show on there is Grey's Anatomy, but that may change. Um, I've never seen an ad on Hulu. I have the no ad plan. And um, the most number of shows that I've seen that has co a commercial uh, listed on their website, they, they listed, it has been like three shows. So the majority of the shows you won't see any, if you have the no ad plan, you'll see, you won't see any commercials. 
With both of these plans, uh, you have the option to add on premium channels such as HBO, Showtime, and more. Uh, it will be an additional fee each month. Each service has a diff different additional fee. And you can watch these channels and their programming through the Hulu app or on their respective apps. For example, if you order HBO through Hulu, you could watch it either through the Hulu app or on the HBO Max app. Um, if you did do that, it would you would just say log in with the provider and you would log in with your Hulu name and password. With both plans, you will be able to watch on two devices at a time. Uh, another popular one is Prime Video. A lot of people have Amazon Prime for its shipping benefits. And if you have Amazon Prime, you already have access to Prime Video. And they offer movies, TV shows, and other programming. Same thing, they also have um, Amazon Originals. There's been um, the, the marvelous Miss May Azel uh, won some Emmy Awards. And they have also recently started offering live events. There's um, certain NFL games and sporting events are also available on Prime Video. If you're currently an Amazon Prime member, you already have access to Prime. The cost to become a Prime member is $119 a year or $12.99 a month. As with Hulu, you can add premium channels for an additional monthly fee. Aside from Prime Video, Prime, Video, Prime members also have the shipping benefits, Amazon Music, and other benefits. So if you were interested in that, you would get like the bonus things as well. With Amazon, you can watch programming on three different devices at the same time. And they don't have tiers like um, Netflix or uh, Hulu, there's different plans. And there are many, many, many other streaming options of, available as well. Um, Paramount Plus, brand new, uh, they just came out within maybe the last month or two. They have movies and TV series from the Paramount catalog, which includes Star Trek and its many spinoffs. Also, um, there are sports, including NFL, soccer, and golf. Additionally, uh, news from CBS News, and that would be $5.99 a month. HBO Max, um, also brand new. Um, they used to have HBO, HBO Go, which has been replaced by HBO Max. They have current and past uh, HBO series and specials, as well as a rotating selection of movies that changes throughout the year. And this is a neat bonus. Uh, throughout 2021, HBO Max is premiering select new Warner Brothers movies at the same time as they premiere in theaters. Um, some examples of this, they had the new Wonder Woman movie. Uh, the same time it came out in theaters, it was on HBO Max, um, the Godzilla movie, and there's been a, the new Conjuring movie. Um, so that, that's a really neat um, bonus for this year. And that is $14.99 a month. Showtime Anytime has current and past Showtime series and specials and movies that changes throughout the year. Um, they, when I say movies with both HBO and Showtime, they get movies from all different studios and things. So it's not just HBO movies and not just uh, Showtime movies, but you'll see um, different studios on there as well. Not just Warner Brothers. I think there's other studios as well. Um, Acorn and BritBox, uh, if you are into British and Canadian TV shows, those uh, examples would be uh, Murdoch Mysteries, Doc Martin, uh, Doctor Who, Are You Being Served? Um, a those are available on these services. Acorn is available for $4.99 a month and BritBox is available for $6.99 a month. Disney Plus, um, fairly new, it, it came out in 2019. They have uh, all, all the Disney movies you could ever imagine and uh, Disney TV shows. And they also have the whole Star Wars catalog, uh, many, many National Geographic documentaries, which is really fantastic. And they have some really nice National Geographic um, TV shows. Uh, there was an interesting one hosted by Jeff Goldblum on there. And there's also the whole Marvel catalog, which is many movies and TV shows. Um, the Mandalorian was a Star Wars original that was only on Disney Plus. There's WandaVision, uh, was Marvel related, was only on Disney Plus. And the price for Disney Plus is uh, $6.99 a month or $69.99 a year. And um, there's also, you don't always have to pay, which is nice. Um, we're talking about friends. 
there's a service called Pluto TV. And now this is a pretty amazing service. Um, it offers a very large number of channels. There's at least 300. Um, and it's ad supported. So you'll see commercials while you're watching. But they have two sections, a live section, a live TV section that has over 300 channels and an on-demand section where you can watch movies and TV shows on demand. And these are actually shows that you've, it's sort of like watching regular TV. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you this during the Roku, but they have um, really neat channels. Like there's one that, that shows all cops, uh, the, the show cops. There's one that show all unsolved mysteries. Um, there's one that shows all classic game shows, British movies, um, one that shows all Jerry Springer. So it's, it's uh, really neat. And they have, it's made by Viacom. So like a lot of the MTV shows are on there too. And it's just a, a really neat um, free thing if you don't mind watching some commercials. Uh, if you're a resident of East Greenbush, Skodak or Castleton, we have a really great service called Hoopla, which you can access for free. There's an app for that on um, Roku and other smart devices. And they have a great selection of movies, TV shows, and documentaries. And with Hoopla, you just, um, the first time you use it, you create an account on either your computer or your phone, and then you log in on your TV, and then you get um, a certain number of borrows every month. Uh, Carrie, do you know what, the, I believe it's five or seven. It is you five, can rent last time month. I checked. Five. Okay, you can, you can rent five per month. So it keeps track of, of, and when I say rent, it's not really, you're not paying anything, it's free. Um, so you can, you can get five of them a month, uh, either TV shows or movies on there or documentaries. And if you own a Roku, there's a free app that comes with the Roku called the Roku channel. And this has a changing selection of movies and TV shows. And there's no monthly charge to access the Roku channel. It's just there. there there are commercials though with um, some of the things that you watch on the Roku channel. And we also are gonna talk about live streaming services. Now watching TV live as it happens uh, through a streaming service is called over the top television or OTT. As with other streaming services, the live streaming services are available through apps and usually for a monthly fee. With live streaming, you can watch shows live as they air or later on demand. Uh, there's a few different ones. AT&T Now is pretty new. Um, they have packages that start at $69.99 a month. Hulu has a live TV option that starts at $64.99 a month. With the Hulu Live, you get all of the on-demand content that we talked about earlier, as well as the ability to watch content live as it airs. There's a service called Sling, which has three different packages. Uh, Sling Orange for 25, Sling Blue for 25, and a combo of the two for 40. And sometimes they offer specials um, where it's a lower price um, at a certain time of the month or year. YouTube TV, $64.99 a month. Direct TV Now Plus starts at $64.99 a month. And Flow TV is $20 a month, which includes 58 channels. Now, each of these ones includes different channels. Um, examples of channels that you'll see on there, USA, um, TNT. Uh, in, the, in the URL that we're gonna send you, um, it, it links to all of these services and it tells you what channels are on which service. But they, they're mostly, they, there's a lot of overlapping, um, but that's the big difference between all of them is, is which channels you're interested in seeing. Like, do you like HT, HGTV a lot? Do you wanna watch USA or TNT? You can, you can check their list of channels. We talked about Pluto and okay. um, each service has a variety of channels for viewing. A full list of the channels for each service can be found on the services respective websites. Um, I'm just going to go through the sports and then we'll, we'll stop for questions. Um, now, there are several options for sports fans. Uh, the most cost effective option is to use an antenna to watch local sports games as they air on the major networks. Now, this would just include ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox as far as sports. Um, you can't get TBS with a antenna. I know that the, the, the March Madness basketball was on TBS and um, not all the games were able to watch with an antenna. So that just includes the major networks. 
all of the live TV streaming that we just talked about, they all offer sports games live as they air or later on demand. Uh, ESPN has a pretty neat service, ESPN Plus. Um, you can watch live games from MLB, MLS, uh, a lot of different fight nights and things like that. And there are some, there is a bundle uh, with, if you bundle together ESPN, Hulu, and Disney Plus, I believe it's like $11.99 or $12.99 a month, and you can get all three for that uh, cost. And there's more information about that on their website. Now, for professional sports, uh, NFL Paramount Plus airs live local games, and there is also an NFL Game Pass for $99 for the season from preseason games to the Super Bowl. This needs to be renewed each season. And there are also select NFL games available to watch on Amazon Prime Video. Major League Baseball has their own streaming channel called MLB.TV for $26.99 $26 a month or $118.99 a year. NHL, the same, uh, has their service, $139 a year, $24.99 for an all-access plan, which allows you to stream any team, or $109.99 a year for a single team pack. The NBA has the league pass for $28.99 a month or $199.99 a year. As with regular broadcast TV, blackout rules apply to streaming services. If you are a sports fan, chances are you know a little bit about blackout, but what this means is that if a certain network has broadcast rights to a particular game, that game won't be viewable on any streaming services. The websites for each of the professional sports has a section on broadcast blackout guidelines if you would like to know more about that. 